If you're watching this video, you probably already know that the two rappers most commonly considered the greatest of all time are Biggie and Tupac. Both of them were fantastic artists and highly influential on the genre, and both have created albums that are worthy of being in anyone's top 10. The problem with considering either of these rappers as the GOAT is that, unfortunately, both of their lives were taken prematurely. In no way does this take away from their accomplishments when they were alive, but it does make me wonder where they would have been in their careers had they been alive for another 50 years. Let me give you an example. After Eminem released the Slim Shady EP and was recognized by Dr. Dre, he went on to release three of the most celebrated albums in hip-hop in a row. There's plenty to criticize about the lyrical content of these albums, particularly on tracks such as Criminal, but in terms of rhyme schemes and pure rapping ability, it would be hard to identify a better three-album run in all of hip-hop. Around the same time, Eminem starred in 8 Mile, which brought the legendary single Lose Yourself along with it. This song is perhaps Eminem's most recognizable, and it's probably one of the undisputed best rap songs of all time. It even went on to win an Oscar. At this point in time, if Eminem's career had ended, I believe we would probably all consider him to be the greatest of all time. Instead, his next album went something like this. Dr. Dre, I got a question if I may. Yeah. Is it gay to play putt putt golf with a friend yeah. and watch his butt butt when he tees off? Yeah. Putt putt, I ain't done yet. And football, the quarterback yells out putt putt while he reaches in another grown man's ass. Grabs on his nuts, but just what if it was never meant? It was just an accident. But he tripped, fell, slipped, and his penis went in. His teeny tiny little round honey, and he didn't mean it, but his little weenie flinched just a little bit. And I don't need to go into any more details, but what if he pictured it as a female's? What is that gay? I just need to clear things up. I'm not cherry picking either. While Eminem did go on to make a few other albums I would consider good, he fell off pretty steeply after the Eminem show. After projects like Revival and Encore, I would not consider Eminem to be the greatest artist of all time. If Kendrick Lamar were to release three or four terrible albums, that wouldn't take away from how great Good Kid Mad City and To Pimp a Butterfly are, but it would make me think that his artistry had its limits. It's perfectly reasonable if you don't think this way. Many people consider the GOAT conversation to be based on the peaks of an artist's career, and any particularly bad projects don't count against them. This is a perfectly reasonable standpoint to have, and I would counter by saying that the best artists don't have to compensate for terrible albums. Artists like Kanye West, Tyler the Creator, MF Doom, Denzel Curry, or Kendrick Lamar might have a project that isn't as fantastic as the others, but they haven't made anything bad. One notable frequent inclusion in the GOAT conversation is Nas, who has historically been included due to Illmatic, despite his otherwise pretty mediocre discography. In the past couple of years, Nas's legacy has been somewhat revived by his King's Disease series of albums with Hitboy. I think for artists like Eminem who may have fallen out of favor to be considered the GOAT once again, they need to prove that they can consistently release top-notch albums again. With all of that being said, the best artists of today have a better chance than anyone from 20 years ago of being cemented as the GOAT. I can't predict the future, but I find it hard to imagine a world where Tyler and Kanye aren't as renowned as Biggie and Tupac 30 years from now. With more artists making music than ever before and the barrier to entry being lowered by platforms like TikTok and YouTube, the level of competition has forced all artists to stay on top of their game and fight for your attention with increasingly more creative projects. For anyone that wants to be cemented as the greatest rapper of all time, the bar has never been higher.